tomorrow is Moonshine's appointment. I hold on to my heart, share with nobody. I don't want nobody else. Moonshine is going to the vet tomorrow to get her first cycle check. This little missy is about to get AI and I'm kind of nervous for it. I'm not really sure what to think. I think on the last video, I pretty much just said that I might be breeding Moonshine. So I guess there you guys go. It's a more for sure thing. I just am really not trying to get my hopes up because I don't want to. Do they not look so cute right now? Anyways, I'm not trying to get my hopes up because I did try to breed Legacy in 2019. It just didn't end up working out. I was pretty disappointed. Not really, but pretty disappointed. But especially when it comes to a moonshine baby, like this is a horse that I have had longer than any horse ever. So this is like really important to me. A moonshine baby is something that I've always wanted. Didn't necessarily think was gonna come so soon because I guess I just didn't realize that they 13 was really the cutoff age for first time moms. So I don't know we're gonna see how it goes but again this is something that i've i've been wanting forever and yeah so you guys just send all the good vibes all the baby vibes and we're gonna see how it goes but yeah so tomorrow is her first cycle check appointment at the vet and then we're gonna just i guess just go with the flow from there i'm willing to do absolutely anything i need to do pretty much let's see how close i can get to them I knew Moonshine. She never lets me get close to her when she's laying down. No, please don't get up. God. I'm getting out, guys. Don't worry. Let's try Armida. She looks really sleepy. Armida. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Nope. It's okay. Hi. See, you're a sweet girl. Why can't everybody be as sweet as Armida? See? Unbothered. And you get to just continue taking your nap. You girls are thirsty. Legacy's doing really good. Moonshine. Hello, Legacy. Alright, well, it's the middle of the day and I definitely need to get homework done. As far as today goes, I'm probably gonna ride Legacy get her just work my homework today is pretty simple but i'm gonna get it done really fast so that i can come back out here and ride goodbye goodbye my friends zion zion if you guys haven't seen zion in a while she has gotten fat what about pecos he hasn't gotten fat huh? i want to find Groot and show you guys because i don't even know if i've showed him on this channel before we had two little baby babies like even Groot, he is so big right now as you can see I, he was smaller than the other one that we got. He was like so small that I could just hold him in my hands. And that was what, three months ago, four months ago at this point. So he's about seven months old now. He has gotten so, 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 so big. Long story short, this is Groody. Okay, come on. He doesn't like the camera. Come on, Groot. Come on, Groot. I have a bunch of banners and stuff out right now because I had to clean out. This is our hay room it's you know not very much right now but this is basically i have the hay guy coming today so we're gonna hopefully get this whole thing filled up so i got like all the stuff out of there and then i had a bunch of banners in there as well so i got all that stuff out gritty what are you doing he likes laying on top of anything he can lay on top of yeah so yeah i definitely have to come back out here and do stalls and stuff because the girls have a good night's load of poop out here so after i'm done with homework i'll definitely be coming back out to do that also if you guys are wondering i have these right here that's because this is my brother's new horse he has a mustang he definitely does not get along with my girls at all so i put this curtain thing up actually but i think it will turn out to be pretty good i just put it up yesterday are you gonna be good right there or can you even breathe you're gonna stay right here for a little bit so i can go do homework yeah why don't you let yourself breathe a little bit? He loves blankets. Like, I had to... Aw, he's probably upset because I took his blankets out of his... He had blankets in his little pen thing, and I swear, dude, he would keep those things so clean. Like, they would obviously just be a little bit dusty, but he would keep them so clean. So he probably misses those. I need to get him some more blankets. 
Okay, so I just got done with homework and I started to do stalls. I already did moonshine stall over there. And then I remembered I'm vlogging today. So I'm gonna try to do these stalls before the hay guy comes so I can get out of his way. And then I'm gonna go ride Legacy, which I just thought about too, that when I took Legacy to the chiropractor on Saturday, he said that she was as stiff as a two by four, which, I totally expect it because she has been a broodmare her entire life. And with that, I feel like would maybe not cause a bunch of issues, but at least a lot of soreness. So in riding her and bringing her back, I have felt a lot of stiffness. And that's actually what made me decide that I need to just get all of the girls chiropractic. So anyways, we got her to the chiropractor and sure enough, he said, yeah. She's really tight. <laughs> she does not feel good at all. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be riding her and I wanna see if there's any difference, if she feels any bit better. Um, because on Friday, we actually were working on barrels and hopefully I get the video. It's on my boyfriend's phone, but uh, his phone's not working right now conveniently, like literally as of that night. If not, oh well, but she, something clicked on that day when we were working barrels where she was really digging into them and it felt really good. So I'm excited to see how she feels now that she got chiropractic and she has that day that we just had. I just think that she's gonna do really good. Barrel season is coming up and I've loped around the barrels probably like 15 total times and have had four days where I've worked her on the pattern. It's not very much. I haven't gotten as much time on her as I should have. Within the last few months, I've been putting in the work, but now it's crunch time. I'm not putting any pressure on her whatsoever to run fast. I just wanna be able to take her to the races. Okay, but I'm gonna hurry up and stop talking and finish these stalls so I can go get on her really fast. Okay guys, so there's a couple of things that I have to brief you on before I get on Legacy. Yesterday, Circle Y, well, technically Rainsman. If I ever say both of those, it's because Circle Y owns Rainsman. So that's why I technically work with Rainsman as well as Circle Y. But so Rainsman sent me front and back boots, two sets. I got home yesterday and my mom just got a banging new job. So I brought in flowers for her. And then I was like, hey, you have some packages on the front porch. And she was like, okay. And one of them, I was like, oh, one says Hannah Beth, Virginia. And I opened this and I, I told my mom, I was like, damn, that's good karma. Just like that. So I'm super excited about this because honestly, I needed some new splint boots, especially a matching pair. Look at these. Look at this baby blue teal dream okay if anybody knows how to help me with iphone storage please do these are going to be amazing for legacy this year they feel so thick my biggest concern with splint boots typically is these little parts right here always come off the tab these are double stitched damn so that's the stitching for them here here and then they are double stitch so i think that's really dope let me see if i can find any others okay i'm not gonna call anybody out but i'm gonna show you guys the boots that i have originally for moonshine and i'm gonna show you the stitching on them without showing the brand okay we're not here to do anything like that i just want to show you one stitch as a first initial review i dig this a lot right here on this part is double stitch as well these are the ones that i had before and these ones also have a little square so i like that i love that these have this i'm really excited to try these technically i don't need them for what i'm doing today but i'm still gonna put them on because why not and then these ones are the same ones but they um are obviously black hey i got hey 30 grass 15 are for my brother and then I got 15 alfalfa. I didn't know if he'd be able to fit it in this stall. And he's like, I'll fit it, honey. Oh, man, look at that. He was here for probably like 15 minutes. All right, I'm putting these back boots on. I have to 
Bence de bad boots on. <laughs> These are large and look really good on her, so. That is my boyfriend. Okay, so these look really good. kind of hard for me to video while I'm riding but she felt I think better still a little hoppy going into the low but if she hasn't felt a difference quite yet then I kind of expected that because she has to get into her own groove but for today not bad and these boots I forgot about them they're holding on strong 